I'm trying to save a battery that costs a lot of money. So I needed a special tool to figure out which cell it's bad in the battery. And Amazon just delivered. If you know how batteries work, um, if one cell is broken, the entire battery uh, gets rendered useless. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna test out these and see which one are bad. How it works, it's, um, I have a battery hooked up right now. I'm using two uh, magnetic terminals. Uh, usually people use a battery connector. And I've set it up to charge. So first I'm gonna charge it and then I'm gonna discharge it. And that's gonna give me the value of the battery, how good it is. So this is a good one and I'm gonna try the bad ones and see what's the difference in between them. So right now it's gonna charge at 1.5 amps, 3.7 volts, press and hold. Battery check, wait, you wanna start. And right now it's gonna start. Once it's fully charged, then I could set it in discharge mode and that will tell me the capacity of the battery. One, because usually one battery causes the problem in the entire uh, battery pack. And you could save a hundred, two hundred, three hundred dollar battery by just replacing one cell. It's running for 53 minutes. It's pushing 0 0.1 amps in. So it's pushing very, very little current because it's right at the top of the battery. And it pushed 413 milliamps so far. So this battery is almost full. We're gonna wait until it's gonna be completely full and then discharge it and see how good it is. It is very tedious. Like this takes three hours per battery, then you could do three batteries in a day. But you know what? When you have a battery bank that costs you $500, it's worth it. So now let's discharge it. So how are we gonna do that? We're gonna change to not balance, not fast charge, not storage, but discharge. Uh, I'm gonna try to push it a little bit. So I'm gonna do one amp, which is a little bit too much, but I'm gonna try to push that. And then we're gonna discharge it to three volts and see, that's the minimum, and see how much power there is in it. Battery check. And there it is. So right now it's discharging at a rate of one amp and then uh, it's gonna give us some numbers in a second. This one was able to pull 955 milliamps out of it. It took me a couple of days to narrow the battery down, the one that was causing the issues, but this charger, this discharger, I was able to test them all and found the bad one, and now I could just rebuild this battery and be up and running. Yeah, you know, this one costs some money, but you need the right tool for the right job to save a battery. Thanks for watching.